going to turn this free flight glider into an RC airplane. Actually, I did that already in a previous video, which you can see in here. But today I'm going to add two brushed motors and you can be able to control the speed of them with your rudder control. So let's do that and let's see how it turns out. But first I'm going to take a look at some fixes that I have to do, like the thread to control the elevator. I have to put a new one. I really highly recommend watching the previous video where I modified this free fly glider into an RC glider. I show the whole process that I have to undertake to make that possible. The link is in the description or in the information icon in the right upper corner. Okay, the idea is to use these micro brushed motors as a propulsion system for our airplane. These motors are mainly used for micro drones and you can buy them for a ship from an online hobby store. We're going to use two of them and put them on the wings. It's gonna be just like a twin engine airplane. To maintain everything as light as possible, we're going to use this micro receiver. And because the whole system will use low voltage, we're going to use one cell LiPo batteries. I'm also going to use this mini speed controller for brushed motors. The list of components that I'm going to use can be found in the description of this video. Good, I still have one fix to make, and it's the control horns for the ailerons. These are gonna be connected to the servo, and that way we can control the ailerons. This can be made out of plastic. Any kind of plastic shit will do. You can use an old credit card, or in my case I'm using plastic from any packaging. The control horns it had before just broke, I don't know exactly why. I'm using this needle to open a little hole where the wire is going. Now I'm going to use the knife to make some scratches and roughen the area a little bit. That will make the glue stick better to it. I'm doing that just at the base of every control horn. Just make sure to make the scratches in all directions. Now I'm going to use epoxy glue, because this glue is very strong and also dries very fast. I'm using a rated 5 minute epoxy, so it should be hard enough in 5 minutes. After mixing part A and part B, we apply this to the control horn and glue it onto the ailerons. In the description of the video you will find a template of the shape of this control horn. It is important to place the control horn in the right position. Here you can see the right and wrong way of putting the control horns according to the pivot point of your aileron. Now I need to connect some push rods. The push rods are the ones that connect the servo to the control horns. You can use a guitar metal string, but in my case I'm going to use barbecue skewers to make a different kind of push rods because I don't have a long wire to connect the servo to the control horns. Pay attention to these images, so you can see how I did this procedure to make these push rods. I'm going to use a very small and thin wire to be connected in the pivot points of these connections. At the other end I made a similar procedure, but I use also epoxy glue to maintain the wire in place. If you are asking yourself how I did manage to put a servo in there, that's why I recommend you to watch the previous video, where I did the whole thing. And now I have to set up the radio so that the servo and the ailerons move just the right amount. We are done with the main fixes, and now we can fly our airplane. But it doesn't have any motors, so we can just throw it to the air and make it glide and control it while it is flying, just like we did in the previous video. Right now this is just a glider, it doesn't have any propulsion system. The bad thing about this is that the flights just last for a few seconds. Unless you use a catapult or any advanced system to launch it very high, the other option is to fly at a slope where you will have a constant updraft of wind. For now it's not that bad flying this way, and it's also fun when you try to catch it in the air.
but we are not here to see it gliding, but to put some motors on it and make it fly better. So let's continue. So now let's do the connections of the motors to the electronic speed controller. Remember that we're going to use two motors. It is recommended that the motors rotate in opposite directions and that way they balance themselves. So make sure to use the right propellers. Now I'm going to see where I'm going to put these motors. Naturally, the motors will be placed as close as possible to the fuselage. I was thinking to glue them directly to the wing, but I thought of a better and elegant solution. And after taking few measurements, I go to the software Fusion 360. This software is used to design 3D objects. I'm designing a base for the motors. After exporting the object in STL format, I import this file into another software called Craftware. This software will prepare the file to be 3D printed. And there we go, printing layer by layer. The printing time of each object took about 10 minutes, because they are very small. After the printing is finished, we do a little bit of cleanup. And now we have our motor bases. As you can see, the motors will clamp in there very easily and without any problem. And now let's see how well they hook on the wings. And they're doing okay. The wing profile shape that I designed in the clamp, it's okay. It's not perfect, but it works. And now we're ready to mount the motors and make all the connections. In this case, we're using just one speed controller and we're using two motors. It is not a problem because we're using brushed motors. Each motor will take up to one amp at maximum speed and the speed controller can stand up to six amps. So we are pretty safe there. I'm also going to put my own servo connectors and wires to this speed controller to be connected easily to the receiver. Once we have done all the connections, we make the first test of the motors. All is left is to make some adjustments like putting tape on the wires of the motors and putting some glue to the base of the motors. And finally, we're ready to go on fly. With these two motors, it's possible to fly very comfortably. Here I have the motors at full throttle. They're not very powerful, but they're okay. And you can even make maneuvers. If you go high enough, you can make a loop, rolls, or even fly upside down. And finally, one of the motors detached from the wing. And now let's see if we can fly with just one motor. And there we have the answer. The only thing is that now we cannot climb very high and do maneuvers as before. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and also leaving a like. And if you want to be notified of future videos, just hit the bell button. I'm still working on a lot more projects with drones, airplanes and electronics. So I'll see you in the next project.